Hello, I'm Benny Braden. I'm the founder and president of Responsible Stewardship and also the vice president of Save Our Smokies. Both are nonprofits based in Tennessee, really designed to educate on our environmental impact, not only to our public lands, but also to our communities. And back in April, around Earth Day, we held the largest cleanup ever held in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park history. Whenever we had over 200 volunteers and we removed 4,600 pounds of litter in three hours. How the outdoors has actually healed me. There's, there's a phrase I like to tell people whenever I go on a hike, whenever I am in the outdoors, that I'm going to clean off my desk. Now everybody knows that their desk are always like piled up, very messy. I look at my brain as that way. And whenever it deals with trauma, some of the things I witnessed during my first responder experience, some of the things I've had to do. And whenever I'm hiking, I'm able to take one of those images off that desk. And as I'm hiking, I get to think about it, you know, think about my role in that situation. And, you know, maybe meditate on it, maybe pray about it, maybe just ponder on it. In the first responder field, whenever it comes to PTSs, we struggle with false guilt. We struggle with false guilt that maybe we could have done more. Maybe if we had drove faster, maybe we could have gotten there and maybe saved that person's life. We don't take time to process that. So being in the outdoors gives me that time to process all the stuff that's on my desk. And that's why it's so important to take care of it because I still have a lot of stuff I have to process. In 2013, my brother passed away. And he had two daughters and I adopted his two daughters to take them in as my own. It was super stressful and just all the stress that builds up with, you know, number one, the new family. I started struggling bad to the point to where I began having outbursts. The PTS got really bad. And so bad that I would sleep in my truck for two or three days just to calm back down. Whenever I would leave my house, I would take my backpack with me. And my goal was to hit the woods and never be seen again. Eventually, my outburst got really bad. And one day, out of the blue, like zero to 60, I had an outburst that was physical. I beat the cabinet doors in my kitchen. And then I yanked them off the hinges and threw them into the next room. And it was later that day that I went and started going to therapy over my PTS. I became scared of it. And I changed my lifestyle a lot to, to make sure that maybe it couldn't get a little bit worse. And now I live a level of peace that it's hard for me to explain. But I know that I'm not going to compromise that peace. You know, I once told a friend that there's purpose in pain. And when I started going to Reboot Recovery, that was a phrase they used a lot. And I almost adopted that, you know, like, okay, what is my purpose? What is my purpose for experiencing this trauma? The trauma ended up putting me in the outdoors where I hiked thousands of miles. It's given me an opportunity to shed some of that trauma. But also being in the outdoors has allowed me to start stewardship seeing what's happening to our public lands. So being able to connect all these dots, you know, it's almost as if my trauma was the pain that became my purpose to heal the land. I was hurting. I'm seeing the land hurting. I can easily fix that. I can reach down and pick that litter up or I can remove that graffiti. So when we say purpose and pain, sometimes it's difficult to understand what that purpose is. Why am I experiencing this trauma? Why am I experiencing this pain? It may be maybe to help a friend or a loved one through a similar situation. That's always an unfortunate possibility with life. 
we all go through struggles. If you're suffering with anything, if you're struggling with anything, just keep in mind there could be a purpose in it. That's why the outdoors are important to me. I find a lot of peace in the outdoors. I find a lot of peace taking care of the outdoors. Whenever I see litter or trash thrown on the ground, that's the land hurting. Whenever I go and pick that trash up, I instantly healed that land. That land once healed me. For me, picking up litter and removing graffiti is therapy. But typically I don't get to do that anymore because responsible stewardship requires so much time. Time that I'm grateful that I get to give because I'm getting to pay it forward, getting to give back to something that once took so good care of me that I, I can't ever even repay that debt.